This is TJ with Tech Made Easy. Welcome to the channel. My channel is all about making things affordable, practical, and easy. And today we're going to talk about a topic that has been a little frustrating for me. Um, I've found workarounds around it, but um, one of the things is Plex. And Plex, sometimes you just can't get Plex to see your folders or see your, your movies in a, in a folder. Um, and um, I... I, I I basically was setting up a um, a Linux server that I'm going to be doing a video on, and I wanted to also show how to add Plex on there, but I could not get Plex to read my folders. Now I did find out why that is, and it's very simple. And I've seen a I've gone online and seen a lot of people, and some of the solutions they have is a little complicated. This one. This solution makes it really easy, and you'll see them all the time. I wish I would have known about this before, because I did have a problem with FreeNAS when I first installed FreeNAS and getting that to happen. Um, I had to change the, uh, the user permissions in Windows, and then I could see it. Um, but now I understand exactly what is going on here um, after I took a deep dive into this and why some people have no problem doing it and others do. So let's take a look at it. Um, you'll find it interesting if you're using Plex and you ever run into this problem, this is how you fix the problem. And it's very simple. Let's get started. Okay, I, uh, I'm, I am no means a uh, server guru, or not a server guru, a Linux guru. Okay. Um, Computers are more of a hobby, but I like things to be as simple as possible, and that's why I created the piano. Or the piano. <laughs> Sorry, my son was playing the piano and it got in my head. Anyway, that's why I created this channel is because I found that there are some things people make complicated, and and sometimes um, they don't show you enough. So I've tried to keep this channel um, where I, I show things to as easy to the easiest way possible to do stuff. And the less expensive because I like to save money as well um, I'm, I'm practical when it comes to this stuff I used to be in IT 20 years ago but I got a job that had nothing to do with computers it was a really busy job and I I just lost all of my computer skills and I got back into computers about five six years ago when I got into Plex um, but I had the same problem with Plex um, I wasn't running Linux then but I was using tr uh, free NAS and uh, the FreeBSD version, and I could not see my files for the life of me. And uh, and what it was is there was a YouTuber that showed in Windows where you could change the the permissions through the file manager, and then you would have access to your files. I didn't know why that was, um, but now after doing research with, and I tried I tried Plex in Linux uh, a while back, and I couldn't get it to work, and it wasn't a big deal because I wasn't trying to really do it with Plex. Um, in Linux, um, actually, I do have a Proxmox uh, Linux Mint running that runs Plex, but it attaches to my um, TrueNAS um, scale version, um, which is a Linux version of TrueNAS. And so, and uh, I had a little bit of problem there, but I figured it out. But this, but what on the desktop here, I was having major problems, and. Uh, the biggest reason why I was having a problem. You'll notice I put in my home folder, I put this server folder in here. And the reason why is because um, this is a, even though this is running Linux Mint, I have five hard drives in here. And so, um, and so I connected those with uh, uh, ZFS. And so I made a ZFS pool and then I mounted the ZFS pool to this server folder in my home folder. Well, there lies the problem. Don't, this is simple as can be. And, and I'll explain a little bit what you need to do. But do not put any folders in your home folder and try to, try to get to your media through Plex through your home folder. It will not work. So the reason why is the Plex, uh, because you're storing everything in your home folder, and that uh, username, and that username is your a folder in home. It 
doesn't have the right permissions for Plex to access your home folder. No matter what, even though I have server here and I and I and I elevate it to 775 uh, 777, it would not work because it knows that that mount has the folder TG in it, which is the user folder and it doesn't have if we go down here to the let's minimize this I have these windows open for a reason um, I went ahead and, and just uh, I just went ahead and, and look and see um, in the home directory everything that has a TG assigned to it but there is a folder and and I'm not sure which folder it is because because my username is in a lot of different things here but you'll notice these criteria down here at the bottom. Um, they don't have anything in them. If those don't have anything in them, um, like what's above here, Plex will not be able to access that folder. And uh, I don't know if you want to change your user folder and elevate its permissions because that's one of the things that keeps Plex safe. Um, and the other solution is, oh my heavens, I looked at it and it's like, oh well you you just got to go in and you got to make uh, Plex the, the your user and then you got to create this file and then it'll do this stuff and I'm like wait a minute it's got to be easier than that it is easier than that just put your folder anywhere else but the Plex but in your home folder so what I did here is I am just in the file system here and I mounted that server folder um, in here so um so i have this mount here um and that's what i and that's what i did and then i now mount obviously um doesn't mount is read only but it still has the the permissions that allow uh plex to see inside mount okay let me just show you really quick here um uh, so let's add a library and the the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the home folder here. There's there's my user folder. Nothing. You should see documents, videos, music. You should see all those folders that are in that directory. But that directory does not allow you to have access. And again, I don't know if you want to elevate access to that because that's one of the things that protects Linux is the fact that not everybody can access that folder. So what I did here, so let's go back, is, um, and you'll notice here on any of these files in here, we have access, okay? Um, because these files here have permissions that allow Plex to, to see what's inside those folders, okay? So now if I go, um, and then actually this server, that's my mount right there, and that's why it shows up here. So that is the same as this one here. And so if I go, oops, so if I go back to here and click on this, it's going to have those same folders. So now if I, um, if, if I click on movies, actually, actually I'm going to go back because I, I don't need to do that. I just need, um, yeah, I do need to do that. So let's just add this add library and when we go here so let's go to our home and you're going to see movies here and there are uh, the movies okay so um, <clears throat> so let's let me just talk about so that particular folder this this folder here actually um, it has elevated, uh, not the movie folder, but this server folder has elevated uh, rights to it. And if we go over here to this terminal at the bottom left, you'll see that I went ahead and put in the command so I could see the permissions that are in that fol that server folder. And what you're going to notice here is that um, I gave it 777. Now you don't have to do that, but again, I was just messing around. And so it gave, and you'll notice here that this mount folder here, um, 
it, it has these permissions here and these permissions at the end here allow Plex to see inside that folder okay um, you may not be able to read or write in that folder um, but um, I, I I created this server folder um, through sudo and then I and then I elevated the right so that you could read and write in that folder even though it's a root user okay but you don't have to make it a root user okay let's look at the top left here um, so uh, in this server folder I went ahead and put in the command to get me my permissions there and you'll notice that it's 755 and, the, and 755 gives you these permissions right here. And you need, you need at least 755 to have to, in order for Plex to see your folders. So that's what I did there. So, so you don't have to, the folder doesn't have to be a root folder. It can be your username, but you just don't want to put anything in your home folder itself because it stores things under your root folders name and that does not have the permissions I know it gets a little confusing but this is the way I found it now there again there are ways where you can put something in that home folder but it's more complicated it's just easier don't put any Plex folders in your home folder and you will be fine and make sure that you your permissions are at 755 or 770 777 so um, and so let's just go back really quick to Plex here and let's go back and add let's go to libraries and let's add uh, oh, this will be a TV show and before we went ahead and added this here which is my mount which is under mount server but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and just uh, in the root directory this is my other server and this has this has my username permissions on it and there is our season one TV show and we'll add that to the server and then we'll be able to go back over here and we'll go to more and there are the TV shows that I added um, so there you go if you're having problems Make sure that folder is not in your home folder and make sure your folder has at least has permissions that's 755. Now I will say this much. Don't go in and start messing with making I I wouldn't go in and start making Plex because uh, Plex's user is Plex and its group is is Plex. I wouldn't change those to your user uh, because you have to do more than just that and one of the things I saw and I've gone through this before a couple of years ago um, where it says oh you just have to go into the Plex um, under Etsy and and change it there well they don't do that anymore and that's the other problem Plex sometimes changes how they how and where they put their user but it's more complicated than that you just can't change that user and anyway so this is the easiest way possible just put it in a different folder other than the uh, home folder so I hope that was helpful it took me a while to grasp this and get it down I couldn't figure out what people were saying oh it's permissions permissions because I was giving it permissions in that home folder and it wasn't working so this is TG with Tech Meet Easy again I hope that was helpful have a great day now that was easy peasy